<laughs> Dawn Trail flashbang. There it is. I am. Are there queues anymore? This has been out for a month. I'm gonna have to sub for a second month. I was not fast enough. Oh, Luna, I forgot you were dressed like the locals. Okay. You look beautiful. 18. Okay, about the same. Not bad. All right. What's up, Luna? <coughs> Pardon me. What you do? What are we doing? We got it. We got our little, little juggle bow in the inner tube. All right, let's uh, change our minion for the day. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get a nutkin. Let's go. We better see Thancred. I don't remember what we were doing. Alfie, tell me what we were doing. Scale of trust. Alphino is ready to bring the people together. Oh, that's right. Baklajaja. They made us feel sorry for Baklajaja. That's right. And they did a good job of it, damn it. It was like, cause I was literally, I'm like, they're gonna like, they're gonna, you know, he's been nothing but a bully, uh, this, this whole expansion. And like, you know, if they try to give him some kind of sap story and make me feel sorry for him, like I'm gonna be mad. They did it so well that I'm very not mad. I very much feel sorry for him and now want to help him and his people. Like, man, damn it! <laughs> they did it so well! They were very successful. <laughs> oh no, Willow. It's still congested, huh? Man. We haven't a moment to lose. According to Milalja, Moxitral's douche. Alfie, sorry. <laughs> Come here, baby. I missed you. I missed you, Alfie. <laughs> I'm a little close. I'm a little close. Mama loves you, Alfie. Wait, can I do... Sorry. I got... Wait, what's... Can I hug? Oh, the hug command is unavailable. Darn it. It's an abandoned settlement northwest of the city. It should afford us the privacy we require. We must... <laughs> We must work quickly, unless the real shot discovers our attention. Fortunately, Bakul Jaja thought to give us additional scales, so we might cover more ground in less time. Oh, that's right, he gave us some of his scales, because he's all like, you know, they respect me because I got two heads. Um, and so he gave us some of his scales so that we can just show them to anyone, and they should, like, also do what we say. Somehow they know that these scales are from a two-headed person? A tool, a two-headed Jaja. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> I just need her arms. I need her arms to go around him and hug him. Must protect. No. <laughs> you will not hurt my son. It's just lined up too perfectly. Everyone should take one and get going. Use them to gather as many people as you can. All right. Where are we going? Oh my god. Too cute. Oh, I missed it. She held her. She held her arm out. Oh, this closed up. Eh. Luna, let's retrace our steps. Maybe this time we can convince folks to lend an ear. Oh, bye, Alfie. Damn it. <laughs> Not fast enough. I like this little, this little, this little, like, cubby here. This is cute. Oh, it lights up. <laughs> Effie ja. This is like effin' ja, ja. That's, that's what I feel. My brain read it as. I like that they have like all stone houses. That's not who I was supposed to talk to. Where am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? Show the blessed scaler to the citizens. Where 
we're going. How are we getting there? Blessed trust you, then so will I. So, and I killed him and took his scale. So what is it that you require of me? The nutkin. Bakul Jaja bids us come to Makstral Zuj. A strange place for an assembly, but very well. I will not refuse. He who fights for our dreams. He who fights for our dreams. Okay. not tell you to move along. I can't be seen talking with the likes of you. I have scale, though. A blessed scale? In an outsider's hands? What business do you have with me? We're having a party. <laughs> Bakul Zsa's surprise birthday party. So Bakul Zsa sent you to call an assembly. I'm not sure what to make of this, but I shall go to Makstral Zuz at once. Ha. Huh. We're just steamrolling these names now. Did they just like leave their shop? Just open. <clears throat> Have you managed to gather some of the good folks? Wonderful. The esteemed Bakul Zsa will be pleased. This <clears throat> this fellow here will be coming to Muxtral Zuj as well. So. Apparently, there's a Najul nursery to the west called Golmajik Grove. Could you go and see who you can talk to there as well? I'll meet you in Muxtral Zuj afterwards. There's just one more person I need to find. All the way out there. All right. All right. That's you anytime Graha or Alize are available to emote and take screenshots with. Yes! have to. They're right there. Why am I playing this game if not to take screenshots with Alfie? <clears throat> I love that, like, the, this race lives in this, like, beautiful, glowy, magical forest. outsider oh my apologies I was unaware thank you blessed scale bearer for bringing me word of this gathering I shall away to Muxtral Zuj at once <laughs> the timing of the nutkins little movements looked like he was hopping along the text box and as soon as I made it go away he like spun and fell off of it and dropped his nut <laughs> This is your favorite zone. It's pretty. I, lo I love the, uh... Not this music, which is beautiful. But there's another There's another track. Maybe on the, on the other side? Or was it... No, it was the other map. I think. What am I thinking of? There was a map, like, last stream that I was, like, loving the music. Creatures are so pretty. Branch bearer? That's so pretty. Creepy, but pretty. Alright. Who's gonna jump out and say surprise?
Oh, it was the same zone, just higher up. <clears throat> Where's the Wiplamak? Did you see they had a uh, Dawn Trail character popularity poll in Japan? And uh, Aaronville was number one. Aaronville and Kryle, and then Bakul Jaja were the top three. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, we saw Thancred. You invited the second promise as well. Ugh, Lamati. Did I remind you that this is this right is a competition? Whatever advantage you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize to your own benefit. I have barely made headway in communicating with the locals. At this rate, you lead the race to the Golden City. Yeah, didn't the other two get like completely disqualified? It's crazy. In the taco making contest? I need your help. To complete the fee. Uh, no, no. Mamook has a problem I cannot solve on my own, and you're the most clever person I know. I want you to hear the people firsthand so that we might come up with a way to help them. Very well. I'm at your disposal. I love that they're sibbies. Everyone, thank you for gathering on such short notice. I am Wuklamat, third promise of Turial. Promise? I thought you served Bakul Jaja. You deceived us? No, they did not. He's like our friendo now. It's weird. <gasps> there's you there's so much cute fan art of them as kids. Oh, that's so cute. The scales they showed you were mine. I entrusted them to the third promise and her retinue. Why honor these outsiders so? Gazwuk Lamad has won my trust. Now you will hear her words. You owe me a taco. I don't care how sad your story is, you stepped on my taco. Taco Jaja shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price you pay to conceive them. Baby soup below the city. As an outsider to your community, it is not my place to judge you or your culture. Culture is born of the experiences of its people, of their lives and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has brought you all so much suffering. If any here wish to break the cycle of tragedy that creating blessed siblings demands, I ask that you join us. Please, I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering. Without them, we have nothing. That remains to be seen. Speak with the third promise. Share with her your worries and your pain, and together we may find a new way forward. Together? Is she trustworthy? If she is trustworthy, then I will speak with her. Yeah. 
It would be best if you withdrew, my son. Many cannot yet speak freely in your presence. Tell them they can. Let's keep an eye out for Zerilja. He wouldn't take kindly to this sort of gathering. I want to hang out with Thancred and Urianje. Once we understand everyone's concerns, we'll be better equipped to help them. Let's make sure they feel heard. Talk to people. That's what I do best. Oh my god. The two-headed babies are like shiny Pokemon. No. Selfie. Buklamat risks her standing in the right to attend to her people's needs. Tis a degree of selflessness few can claim to share. It's true. It's true. We say Arendelle. Now we come to the heart of it, indeed. I'm glad Kona agreed to help us. He's always been good at solving complicated problems. Me, not so much, but I'll support Mamook's people however I can. By combining our respective strengths, we'll help them discover a new source of hope. I know we will. Scale of trust. Mamook speaks. Before she hears the people, Wuklamat would like to ensure she is prepared. It's a die. All right, Luna, before we start, let's make sure we're remembering our history correctly. The Mamulja and Nixbral, she Shebral, fought for centuries over the land in the upper forest, but due to infighting, Mamulja forces struggled to make significant gains. In order to promote cooperation, the Hubigu and Bunewa clans intermarried, and that's how blessed siblings were first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to the people and learn why they rely on blessed siblings. Yeah, why do you believe that they're, like, your liberators when they haven't succeeded yet? I wonder how long... How long has it been since this war? This land was once rich with ore, but the Yokhui did not stop digging until all the veins were spent. Meteorites are only good for so much. Even if we made <clears throat> overtures to traitors, we have little to offer. Nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born, but that's impossible. So with resources as sparse as they are, you don't have good prospects for trade. As you have noticed, this forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes it through the canopy, so it feels like it's always night. We plow, we fertilize, we irrigate, irrigate yet our crops shrivel and die, as though cursed. The only one that grows well is Najul, Jatika banana in Tirali. Try living on that and little else for a few centuries and see how you like it. <laughs> like, we used to be human until we started eating the bananas. A forest where nothing grows. It's not hard to imagine why you'd want to leave. <clears throat> Blessed siblings promise us more than strength. They promise us the sun. This forest is dark and inhospitable. When given the opportunity to live in Tuliao, most of our people didn't think twice. Still, the prospect of being among so many outsiders was intimidating enough to keep many of us here. Blessed siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest, to lead us to the fertile land above, where we might make a place for Mamulja to abide in peace and plenty. So you desire fertile land, one that's all your own. Well, this sounds like religion to me, like, like... Where? Where? Hi, why? Who said this? I guess just because they're strong? Those who have known only open skies and bountiful land cannot comprehend our plight. True. To thrive, we must take what we lack by force, and for that we need the might of blessed siblings. There have been other ways to thrive, ways that don't require fighting. But I think I'm starting to understand. Everyone had their own perspective, but all their concerns were about the forest itself. Dark and fertile, cursed. Hearing that, it's little wonder that people here wish they had better land. And who better to get it for them than blessed siblings? It's hard to convince people to stay in a place that can't provide what they need. You'd think the meteorites, at least, would have value, but apparently not. Hold on, didn't Arnville mention something about the meteorites, that the ether they emit makes the plants glow blue? 
rather significant physiological effect, I would say. If we were to study these meteorites, we might discover other ways they may influence the local flora. I noticed the curious amalgam of tree and meteorite just south of here. Determining precisely how they interact with one another may yield crucial insights. Everyone, I really appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks for your insights. We have a promising idea already. We just need a moment to investigate it further, so please bear with us. We'll be right back. BRB. Because of their strength through war. Oh, because of Galul Jaja, of course, of course, because he became the Dawn Servant. Right, 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 right. Because they got, like, the separate brains and brawn. And, like, Galul Jaja, like, put that serpent, that dragon to sleep and stuff, and did all this, like, crazy awesome things. Yeah. So, like, wow, they must be extra special. They got higher stats. Ooh, that's a pretty tree. <clears throat> it really is incredible how a tree could support such an enormous boulder. Trees are strong, man. Meteorites, etheric emissions are palpable, even from this distance. Seeing this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine. I suspect that only plants with an etheric affinity to these meteorites can thrive in this forest. If so, the gar gargantuan trees that create the dense canopy would, by necessity, possess the same affinity, as well as the aforementioned Najul tree. Indeed. I should like to analyze samples of meteorite before drawing any definitive conclusions, however. I carry, oh, I carry with me a few devices that will aid in this endeavor, but perhaps you and Cryo could lend your expertise as well. <sighs> I'd like to join you. The aetheric signature of those meteorites may be crucial in determining what manner of species might fare well here. Uh, I think I see what you're getting at. If we can prove to them the cursed forest isn't quite so cursed, maybe the people won't feel like blessed siblings are their only solution. So how can I help? Want me to climb the tree and break off a piece of the meteorite for you? I love it. She's just like, how can I help? Can I climb the tree? I'll climb the tree. <laughs> there are plenty of fragments on the ground already. It should be enough for our purposes if we gather about five pieces each. Even better if those fra <laughs> even better if Luna collects them all. Luna, go get 50 meteorite pieces. I love that tree. That's so pretty. Meteorite in there. Oh my god, the Gino emote! Yes! Uh, holy crap. So the reason this tree grew so big is because of the meteorite's energies. Apparently, look at these little spikes! Ow! I should take damage going through here. Keep my nutkins like I am on your shoulder. I am not walking through that. It's a green materia. Ah. It's 
the yellow materia. Too big for our purposes, but a shard of it might do. Arnville, if you would. See, this is where you take the screenshot. <laughs> Although that's, I feel like this is, uh, no, now he's feeling me up. That's, that's not what we want. Did I pick up the meteorite? Or did I just talk to Alfie? I, was there a meteorite? I was distracted by Alfie. What? Here we go. This is so Avatar. This is pretty, with the leaves floating on the water and the, all the crystals. Oh, no. The Cerulean what? Sex... 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 I like these little wispies going through the air. The Cerulean Seshudros. Find your fragments. I found five. Much obliged. Alpha no Kryle and I will combine the gathered samples and conduct an analysis forthwith. Determining the wavelength may take a little while, but I am hopeful that our efforts will bear fruit. I'll tell my sister to await our arrival at Muxtralzuz, so go and meet her there. We will return with our results as soon as possible. Yay. Yeah, fatter cat. Oop, wait. This way? This way? That's like, that, the, this is like, uh, this whole place is something out of Ori. Blind forest. Aw, really? Can I not go up here? Why does it look like on the mini-map I can? God, why are the maps in this game so garbage? I'm sorry. How long has this game been out and the maps are still garbage? I'm sorry, I'm, I'll say it. They're awful. They're terrible. They're boring. I understand that it's like, you know, oh, this is what, like, if you unroll a pirate map, like, this is what it would look like. I, I get it, but it doesn't help you get around. They're not pretty. They're boring. They're hard to follow. Guild Wars 2 has the best maps. Ever. Gosh, it's so pretty here. We have done all we can. The rest we must leave to Kona and the others. I don't know the first thing about those Charlian devices of his. Oh, I just realized I'm 95. I'll change my stream title. But if they can be of help to Mamuk, I'm glad he has them. There's hope for this forest yet, Luna. I can feel it. I'll take purple. Buklamata's, uh, uh, the feet of the Brotherhood. Buklamata is determined to find a solution for Mamuk. I'm sure Zarilja would have choice words for us if he knew what we were up to. His people are my people, and I can't ignore their plight. 
If I'm to call myself Dawn Serpent one day, I have to bring an end to the tragedy here. Many are depending on me, Bakul Jaja not least of all. Anyway, I'm sure Kona and the others will be back with their reports soon. Did the first promise get uh, dissed by Papa Jaja? No, he, he lost the taco making contest and got disqualified from the kingship. <laughs> literally, literally that happens in this game. He failed to make a taco and thus he was not fit for the throne. <laughs> like literally that's what happened. Good, everyone is assembled. In light of our news, I thought it only right to call the others. Okay. I mean, we're in this together. Thanks to the efforts of all, I'm pleased to say our analysis has yielded many valuable insights. And I dare say the prognosis is hopeful. Ryle's gonna paint you a sky. Earlier, we asked about the hopes you placed in blessed siblings, why they are important to you. Your overwhelming response was a frustration towards this forest. From a lack of natural resources to the inability to cultivate crops, in all respects, have you ever struggled to build a prosperous home? Thus, your understandable desire for new land. However, this would be an unfortunate dismissal of what makes your forest uniquely valuable. That is, the soil. Our tests have proven without a doubt that the Jatika heartland is abundantly fertile. This may be surprising to hear, as you have seen crops fail time and time again. <laughs> Y'all just suck at farming. <laughs> but we have discovered the root of this pro <laughs> The root of the problem with the soil. Do the finger guns, Kryl. Do them. Do them. The meteorites scattered throughout your forest emit an unusual energy that greatly influences the development of surrounding plant life. So it's the meteorites. But they made the trees grow, like more. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the Najul and the giant trees that create the canopy, but others, as you well know, are sickened by it. Fortunately, the solution is simple. This whole time? Across the salt in a place called Charlian, there is a peerless collection of flora sampled from every corner of the world. Now that we know what energies are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer you seeds and starters guaranteed to thrive here. Damn! I took the liberty of contacting a few colleagues via Link Pearl. Should you desire them, a sample of our best candidates can be shipped here in short order. Some fast shipping. Oh my god. I got so, uh, scared yesterday. Um, I have a very, uh, expensive package, uh, coming from, uh, from Bai, from Japan. I, I bid on some Yahoo Japan auctions, um, and bought some stuff from Mercari, uh, and bundled them all together and, and shipped them here from Japan. And, uh, I looked up the tracking info yesterday and it said that it had been delivered and i'm looking on my front porch i'm looking everywhere on my property i'm like it was not delivered uh and it was like a big box like you can't miss it um and so i was like freaking out i was like did it get delivered to a neighbor was i not here to like did i have to sign for it like i was like racking my brain like where is this package and i'm like scared because there's like expensive stuff in there um until and I was, so I was freaking out like all night 
And then today I check it again and I had accidentally clicked the tracking number for my last order that I ordered back in uh, uh, April. And I was looking at the number of the, it said like four, so it said 4124 delivered. And I wasn't even like, and it was also yesterday was the first. So I wasn't even registering that it, yesterday was 81, not 41. <laughs> So I'm like, what do you mean it was delivered? It wasn't delivered. It's not here. I was looking at the wrong tracking info. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so relieved. Okay. <laughs> so relieved. It's just not here yet. That's fine. Thought it was lost. Uh, like there's some expensive Sailor Moon toys in there. Uh, the first promise got actually got disqualified for attacking the Proctor after he lost the fight with the Spectral Gajal Oh, that's right. He did do that. So did they pass the taco contest? What was the point of... Did they have to... Wait, what was the taco contest for then? Because our team won, right? And they didn't get the little rune, the little, the little candy. Did they, did they have to like do it again? Did they have to do it until it tasted good? And so they got it, but then he beat us here. Is that what happened? <laughs> he did fail the, ta the taco contest. <clears throat> Just as Eorzea acquired the popoto and tomato from Tural, so too might Mamook benefit from foreign crops. Crop exchange. You mean we'd be able to grow more than Najul here? It's like, oh my god, we we don't have to eat bananas anymore. It's like in forest gum, he's like shrimp gumbo, shrimp stew, shrimp and potato. They're like banana bread, banana stew, banana and dirt. <laughs> They've just been eating bananas for generations. <sighs> they lost the taco contest, so they didn't get the little rune, but he could still try to get the others. What's the point? If you can't get, you're supposed to get all the runes. What? What's, that's great overachieving if you can't win. Like, I don't, what's the point then? Can they go back and try the contest again? I don't understand. I thought they lost right there. I forgot about the fighting the shadow thing. <laughs> oh, I guess they could have tried to steal the thing from one of us. That's not fair. Come on, you don't want a king that steals one. No. Uh, see, that's so nasty. Precisely. While care must be taken to choose those species that will not have adverse effects on the ecosystem, your agricultural options should increase markedly. Oh my god, if they get the 4D grapes, I'm gonna lose it. Please let them get the 4D grapes. With the right crops, <laughs> they're gonna have bananas and grapes forever. <laughs> With the right crops, Mamukin will have all it needs to prosper, both at home and in trade. Blessed siblings don't have to be the answer anymore. No more. I mean, this is more than like crops. This is like no more arranged marriages. Like this is huge for their culture. Then there was never any need to fight. Never any need to sacrifice. We were just dumb farmers and needed seeds. We didn't need to make like shiny babies. We just needed seeds from overseas. Damn it. We suck. They suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's cruel. Can't change the past. But we can try to make the future better. Let the old teachings end with us. <laughs> no more banana grass. Banana leaves. All we've known, their whole culture is bananas and baby farming. I know blessed siblings represent absolute strength to you. Letting go of that idea can't be easy. 
but I'll prove that when we work together, our combined strength can achieve anything. Show us promise. If there's another way for our children and our home, we'll no longer suffer in silence. I like that one as purple eyes. I wonder if that's painted on or if that's her scale colors. It's probably eyeshadow. Sometimes we have to fight alone, but not this time. Would you say a few words, Luna? You know I can't speak. What? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Friendship and great deeds here. The, the darkness! Banish the darkness! Power of friend- all three of them were power of friendship. Friends? A perplexing notion from an outsider, but not unwelcome. The, the outsiders have friends. We, we do have the concept of friendship. We've said what we wanted to say. Now that all that's left is to defeat <clears throat> my father's shade in the feet of brotherhood and clear the way for Mamook's bright new future. Do not give us cause to question our faith in you, please. Live up to your words. I will. After we complete this feat, let's be sure to tell Zerilja the good news about his forest. I'm sure he's as eager as anyone to eat what tasty foods they'll grow here. Yes. Passion even for the likes of him. You continue to eclipse me in every way. Then it, it is a simple choice. A simple choice? Oh, is he gonna bow out? Is he gonna choose to... to... just let her win? We're counting on you with the mat. Oh my god, what was that? Everything's okay. I hope. It looks okay. Um Man, I just I was sitting I was just sitting here and I and I felt a vibration. Like a, like the whole house got shook. Um and I like heard something through my headphones. It was muffled through my headphones. Um but like I I felt the whole room shake and then like a like a crash. It sounded like thunder. Um but a, a branch fell on our roof. We have like a, uh, we have a big uh, oak tree, super old oak tree that the branches come over this side of our house. Um, and uh, luckily not a gigantic branch, but like enough and it fell far enough that it shook, <laughs> shook the house. Uh, yeah, it was a branch falling off of that tree. Mr. P was outside and he said he heard the crack. He heard like, <laughs> he didn't hear it hit. So he heard the crack and I heard and felt it hit. <laughs> and so I go out there and we both went out and we had to be looked and yeah, there was a, a cracked up branch on the roof. So it didn't look like it did any damage, but we'll have to, we'll have to check. It's raining, right? It's raining outside right now like it is in game. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to inspect it, make sure it didn't damage the roof. Peachy lawn work stream. That's right. Oh my god, I would get so much done. Or not. <laughs> um Yeah, wow, sorry, that uh wow, that took me out of the game. Um <coughs> IRL! We're under attack by trees. I'm trying to save the trees. Is the ninja in my tree, right? Oh my god. No, there was a, a, a Pizak chased a squirrel this morning. Somehow, uh, not a squirrel, a chipmunk. Chipmunks are insane. Like, what their little claws can, like, climb up. Um, they can climb up the side of our... 
Okay, that was thunder. Everything is attacking me. Um, did you hear that? Did you hear the thunder? Um, but no, chipmunks are insane of what they can climb up, and they can climb up the side of our house. I've seen it multiple times uh, if they're trying to get away from Pizak. Um, and so a chipmunk climbed up the side of our house and was like clinging on way up and all scared. Um, so I picked up Pizak and brought him in and, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, chipmunk, you know, whenever you're ready. Hi, guys. Oh, you guys want to come in? Hello. Are they still playing? I, as far as I know. Okay. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? It was a frenzy climb. Um. And so I, I brought Pizak in and I was like, you know, okay, you're free to, you know, somehow climb down. I'm like, I'm not sure. I glanced over at chat and all I saw was KH4 news and, I, and the hyper emote. And I was like, what? For a second. KH4 news is coming. I just want missing link. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I'm dying for KH4 anything. Uh, but I know Missing Link has to come first, so it's like, please, Missing Link just come out already. Um, so long story short, I go out later, the the squirrel, the chipmunk is still <laughs> clinging to the side of the house like half an hour later, and we're like, dude, like you can't stay up there forever. And I'm like scared he's gonna fall because there was like bricks below him, not like grass or a bush. Yeah, right. Any Kingdom Hearts news would be great. That'd be great. Um, there's gonna be like an avalanche of it. We've like, they announced like new merch, like a plushie or a keychain every like couple weeks. And it's like, woo, yay. Um, it's gonna be like an avalanche, like missing link. And then cage four is gonna be like this avalanche. We're gonna be in our glory again. This is our catch up time. Um, so yeah, what reminded me of this chipmunk was that the chipmunk eventually um, made its way all the way to the roof and climbed up and somehow like went like like out and around and up onto the roof. And uh, I don't know if it ever found its way down. Um, I hope it did. But hey, maybe the chipmunk uh, jumped onto the branch way up. Maybe it jumped 15 feet into the air and uh, made the branch fall. I. I'm gonna blame the chipmunk and hope that he's okay. Yeah, the chipmunk might live on our roof now. I I don't know if he found his way down. <laughs> Cause there's like one tree that's like maybe close enough for him to jump down. And actually, no, he could climb down onto the porch. I hope I hope he found his way. I hope he's not just gonna die on our roof. Like I really 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 hope that he, I'm sure he'll he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Look, Lamat's gone ahead to announce her readiness. I never imagined the samples we so feverishly collected for the Exodus would find new purpose here. If they help these people improve their prospects, all the better. Anyway, we should go and meet our comrades where Zeralja made his own attempt. The final, the final feat awaits. Oh man. The final feat. This, 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 this carbuncle matches this forest. Yeah, this music, I love this music. I hope they ease into KH4 news like a week of updates, one day dedicated to character design, etc. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I definitely prefer, like, the news being trickled out rather than, like, an avalanche all in one day and you're just so overwhelmed you don't know what to do with yourself. Absolutely. I'm gonna have to go yeah, over here. Oh, 
I love this music. Surreal Shaw's intention was for this feat to prove the supremacy of blessed siblings, but Wuklamat shall instead prove that there are other ways for Mamook's people to empower themselves. That's right! So this is like... dungeon time? Someone has got to fetch Surreal Shaw. He should be here soon. Oh, I actually am gonna save this for tomorrow. Because I have, uh... I'm very tired, uh, and someone is stopping over anytime. Um, so we're gonna, we'll start with this tomorrow. That'd be perfect. Short day today, but we had a Guild Wars 2 live stream excitement, um, that we watched earlier, so. So yeah, perfect. Should have stand here in the rain. It's nice. It's relaxing. Good night, Jasper. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out and watching. And uh, whether it was Guild Wars 2 or Final Fantasy 14, thank you for geeking out with me and enjoying it. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Bye, Luna. Bye. Bye. Hi. Uh oh. Screen is just black. There we go. There we go. We got it. Bye, Green Luther. Thank you so much. Thank you, Willow, for being here. Thank you, Ren. And thank you, Ren, for being always so on top of mod stuff. It helps out so much, and I appreciate you so much. Um, I hope you feel better. Drink lots of water, okay? Anime Hardy Wings, Ardok, RJ, Josephel, everybody who's lurking. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. I will see you on Mr. P's stream in, I don't know, not long, an hour, an hour or two. Um, and I will see you here tomorrow for uh, more Dawn Trail. Full day of Dawn Trail tomorrow, unless like, you know, Kingdom Hearts trailer drops or something. And then we'll talk about that for three hours, but <laughs> but I doubt it. So probably a full day, uh, full stream of Dawn Trail tomorrow. So if only, if only something some a, a life sign from kingdom hearts if only bye ali i love your face i love you so much mwah, mwah. take care of yourselves please uh yeah stay happy stay healthy stay peachy and go with love everyone i will talk to you in discord i will see you tomorrow take care guys i love you bye bye